the first thing that I want to say is that uh, uh, the enslavement of Indians had existed well before the arrival of Europeans. So along with the rest of the planet, Native Americans had enslaved each other for millennia. But uh, with the arrival of Europeans, uh, those uh, kinds of activities became commodified and expanded geographically and came to resemble um, something that we would recognize as human trafficking today. So, so that's what happened with the, uh, the arrival of Europeans. All of them, all European empires did it. The Spanish, the Portuguese, the English, the Dutch, uh, the French. But the Spanish, by virtue of being the earliest and by virtue of ruling the largest and mo much, most heavily populated parts of the New World, uh, became uh, pretty significant players in these, uh, in, in these phenomena. In the case of Indian slavery, uh, Indian slavery was legal for 50 years, but then the Spanish crown, oddly enough, outlawed the taking of Indian slaves uh, with no exceptions in 1542, very early on. Um, however, these, uh, these abolition of slavery occurred at a time when everything, all the uh, enterprises of the New World, hinged on coerced Indian labor. So what happened was that owners, in order to retain mastery over their Indians, resorted to all kinds of euphemisms and all kinds of um, ways to get around the law to maintain control over their Native Americans. And so, uh, first of all, you need to recognize that these other labor practices that often are called something other than slavery are slavery in all but name. So in some ways, because Indian slavery was never legal, it was not formally abolished either. So in some ways it outlasted African slavery.